The next generation of cell phone technology known as 5G just got a big boost from the Trump administration. On Friday, it announced a new plan to accelerate the rollout of the superfast network across the country. And as Adriana Diaz shows us, phone companies are racing to capitalize on the upgrade. So this is the 5G lab? This is. Motorola took us into a secure area to see the Moto Z3 phone with an adapter that kicks it up to 5G speed. Once it connects, it'll then show 5G UWB to show that it's now registered on the 5G ultra wideband network. Doug McCow is Motorola's director of North America product operation. He says 5G can provide speeds 10 times faster than current 4G LTE, allowing photos and videos to download in just seconds. Hi, Doug. Hey, Adriana, how are you? And crystal clear video calls. So I'll never have that awkward freeze where the picture freezes and you don't know what face you're making when that happens? <laughs> exactly. Several tech companies are releasing 5G phones in the coming months. Motorola teamed up with Verizon to be the first. Right now, it's only available in parts of Chicago and Minneapolis, with plans to be in 30 cities by the end of the year. The signals carried on new, smaller towers that can fit on a light pole. CNET's Jessica Dahlcourt tried it out. 5G worked in speed tests, but dropped out when she downloaded an app or video. I knew that it wasn't going to be completely smooth sailing because it never is when you have new technology. She says once the bugs are worked out, 5G will not just speed up our phones, but it will open up new technologies. One company called Third Eye is developing mixed reality glasses that would let a doctor take and analyze a 3D scan or give mechanics an image of an engine. This is the very beginning. 5G is definitely going to get stronger. 5G's ability to cut down on lag time will one day allow driverless cars to talk to each other. The goal is to get to less than 10 milliseconds, which is almost instantaneous. So if you can get that level of information to a driverless car, for example, it could be that much more accurate and more safe. 5G networks are currently being built. Big cities will see it first, but it could take a while before the whole country is dialed in. Adriana Diaz, CBS News, Chicago.